Hi, I'm Stephen Oppler with the Atlanta office of Ballard Spar. It's really a great time to be a seller in today's market. The market has as much cash on the sidelines as we've seen in a long, long time. We estimate that there are 4,800 private equity firms looking to invest approximately a trillion dollars. On top of that, and really enhancing the amount of that that gets to sellers, really increasing the purchase prices today, the leverage, the loan market, has really increased to pre-recession levels. Depending on the size of the business, how much EBITDA they have, we're seeing leverage levels anywhere from three times EBITDA to six or seven times EBITDA. So that really enhances the, uh, the equity that's being invested and ultimately the amount of purchase price that a seller can get. It's only a good time to be a seller, though, if the sellers take the opportunity to avoid some of the mistakes that we see repeated over and over again over a long period of time. The most important point is planning and preparation for the transaction. It's almost never too early to do estate and charitable planning. There's some very interesting charitable and estate planning opportunities. It really isn't how much money you get in the transaction, it's how much money you keep at the end of the day. And some of these strategies virtually pay for themselves. Similarly, assembling the right team of professionals early and getting them involved early is very, very important. Often we'll find people trying to save a little bit of money and we'll pick the wrong team, which can cost them the entire transaction or cost them value in the transaction. Secondly, doing your own due diligence, having your professionals review your business before the buyer does is very important. If you wait for the buyer to find what they perceive to be an issue or problem, it can reduce your credibility, their confidence in you as a seller, reduce the certainty of execution of the transaction. That is money and time very well spent. There are some very interesting alternatives today. One of the main points that's negotiated in every acquisition are the indemnifications and representations and warranties. Some very interesting insurance products available today uh, in the insurance market at very affordable prices that afford you the ability to retain as the seller as much of the proceeds of the sale as possible. The counterintuitive aspect of selling your business is that your leverage with the buyer actually decreases over time. You'll never have more leverage than you have at the pre-letter of intent stage and at the letter of intent stage. And falling into the trap saying, well, I'll wait till I have a letter of intent before I bring in my professional advisors is almost always a mistake, and we've seen it time and time again. 